So I get a lot of comments on my videos from people asking how I get Skyrim to look so good on PS4. So in this video, I'm going to go through all of the mods you should use to make Skyrim look as nice as you can possibly make it on PS4. I'm going to split the mods into four categories, which are lighting and weather, environmental, city and town overhauls, and miscellaneous. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and consider turning on notifications so you don't miss out on my latest uploads showcasing the best mods for Skyrim and Fallout 4 on PS4. With that said, let's check out the mods. The best lighting and weather mod on PS4, in my opinion, is Obsidian Weathers by Arendelle. Surreal Lighting, also by Arendelle, is another great choice, but I prefer to use Obsidian Weathers because it creates a more realistic and moody feel and makes the night sky look absolutely incredible, whereas Surreal Lighting creates a highly vibrant and colourful Skyrim, so if that's your preference it might be worth using Surreal Lighting. However, Obsidian Weathers has one big advantage over Surreal Lighting, in that Surreal Lighting doesn't add or affect any of the weathers in the game, whereas Obsidian Weathers gives different regions unique climates with new weathers created specifically for that environment and its flora. The mod's description explains that Obsidian Weathers also amplifies the depth of Skyrim by obscuring distant landscapes with rolling fogs and atmosphere, it hides the ocean horizon scene with sky and cloud settings, improves subsurface scattering with subtle bloom, remasters storm audio, illuminates trees and snow, and naturally saturates the environment through vivid lighting whilst reducing saturation filters so that objects illuminate realistically. This mod massively improves on Skyrim's atmosphere and is probably the most important mod on this list and will make the biggest difference to your game. Another fantastic weather mod is Rain and Snow FX by Chesco, which is actually the third most popular mod of all time for Skyrim on PS4 with over 1.3 million downloads and for good reason. Rain and Snow FX allows your character to show frost and wetness, complete with dripping particle effects, when in the rain and in snowstorms. Your skin will also be wet during and just after swimming. When the weather clears or you walk into an interior, the effect will quickly go away. When in the snow, your skin and armour will ice over in a noticeable way. When in the rain, the effect is more subtle, but your skin will be shiny and dripping. The mod uses an invisible spell to apply these visual effects. It's extremely simple and is compatible with everything. As the mod description states, it just works. This is such an incredible mod. Who knew something so simple could add so much immersion? This mod is a must have and greatly improves the aesthetic of your Skyrim on PS4. So now that we've overhauled our exterior lighting, we should move on to our interior lighting with ELE interior lighting overhaul by Jaws. ELE is a simple interior lighting mod that reduces ambient lighting from interiors so that light sources can realistically illuminate their environment and as an added bonus, its lightweight and simple nature means that it's highly compatible with other mods. This mod makes torches in dark caves and even the large fires found in taverns so much more prominent, really making them stand out and it creates such a realistic and immersive look to all of the interiors in Skyrim. It's easily the best interior lighting mod for Skyrim on PS4, there is really no other choice. The fourth and final mod in the lighting and weathers category is Spell Light Dynamic Shadows by Artificial. This is another simple mod that makes a massive difference to your game. All it does is make some of the lights from spells cast dynamic shadows. The main purpose of the mod is for the candlelight and mage light spells to cast shadows. These spells are incredibly useful if you like to play Skyrim with low brightness settings for darker caves. Therefore, those spells are quite popular. So if you use those spells, you should definitely download this mod. The first of the two environmental mods you're going to want is Water and Terrain Enhancement Redux, or Water for short, by Sparrow Prince. This mod improves the water in Skyrim by fixing issues with it and just generally making it look nicer. The features of this mod outlined in the mod's description are Flow edits to correct flow in areas that need it Reduction of excessive and fake sparkle Ocean water now laps 
Dungeon water now stagnates and flows as interior water should. Transparency tweaks based on water type. Edits to ponds and small lakes to give them a more gentle flow. Added animated waves around Skyrim with sounds. And Rifter now has its own custom water. Water takes up a lot of space in Skyrim and you'll come across it all the time. So why not make it look a bit better with this mod? The other environmental mod you should use is Dense Grass by Shroud Legacy. This is another simple mod that makes a world of difference. I actually can't imagine playing Skyrim now without this mod installed. It adds a ton of grass foliage to Skyrim, making the world feel so much more full and alive. You really would be surprised how much of a difference having more grass makes to the look of the world. You may experience some minor FPS drops, but I think it's worth it to sacrifice the odd frame every now and then for a greatly enhanced environment. City and town overhauls are a big part of making your Skyrim look its best, and one of my favourites is White Solitude by Yuki233515. This mod overhauls the look of Solitude by replacing the textures of the buildings and replacing and adding new plants and greenery. The end result is a clean looking Solitude that lives up to its standing as the capital of Skyrim. Green White Run is another mod by Yuki233515, which does the same thing as the White Solitude mod, but it's for White Run, and it gives White Run a green and blue theme, and also adds new plants and greenery. Both of these mods are incredibly well designed, and I think they make White Run and Solitude look 10 times better than the vanilla versions. The next mod is The Great Cities by Soldier of War, uploaded to Bethesda.net for PS4 by Donkey Kong. This mod completely overhauls Dawnstar, Dragonbridge, Falkreath, Morthol, Rorikstead and Winterhold, converting all of these cities from bland and rather empty and boring areas that don't reflect the history of the town or city into great cities with defences, extra buildings and additional features that reflect the history of each location. The Great Cities is for anyone that wants to breathe new life into or was unsatisfied with the minor cities and towns of Skyrim. This mod has law friendliness in mind and builds upon the unique characteristics of each location. Each overhaul tries to make the areas look significantly different without altering the vanilla feel and gameplay too much. Merchants are also added to the cities of Dawnstar, which is a general goods merchant, Dragon Bridge, which gets a blacksmith, Morthor, a general goods merchant, and Winterhold, a blacksmith. Next up is Iverstead and Riverwood by Ozymandy. But before I talk about how great these mods are, I should say that these mods are extremely buggy and will probably kill your FPS in a few areas and possibly cause crashes. However, I believe that these mods make Iverstead and Riverwood look so absolutely incredible that I personally am willing to sacrifice the performance of my game when visiting them. Ozymandias design and architectural skills are incredible and I seriously hope Bethesda has or will hire Ozymandias to work on the towns in the Elder Scrolls 6 because his mods look so much better than the vanilla design. They will just need someone to test and fix all the bugs of course. The final category is the miscellaneous mods that do small things to change the look of your game. The first mod we'll look at is Epic Realistic Enchantment Effects by Imperial Agent 1992. I covered this mod in my latest top 5 mods of the month for Skyrim video, so if you've seen that video, you already know all about this mod. This mod overhauls the enchantment visual effects by greatly exaggerating them and making your enchanted weapons look like they actually are enchanted rather than the very basic glow that the vanilla effects give you. This is one of my favourite mods for Skyrim and I'm so glad it exists. Next up is World Map Vibrant Map by King Chozo 34 and Go Away Map Clouds by Micah Ghost. These two mods combined greatly improve the look of the world map by making it much clearer and much more vibrant making it easier to read and plan your routes. Another extremely popular mod is More Blood and Gore by Spookrates. The More Blood and Gore mod adds large amounts of blood and gore to the game, making each blow and swing just a little more interesting. It does, however, aim at keeping the realism so the amount of blood isn't outrageous, just noticeable. The mod makes it so that you are more likely to encounter blood and that the blood you encounter is in larger quantities. It also adds more blood drops to the screen to improve the realism of attacking a foe. This next mod is another one of my favourites, Lampposts of Skyrim by Micah Ghost. It's a simple mod, 
but a lot of work must have gone into it because it adds over 250 lampposts along the major roads of Skyrim to make travelling at night much safer and much more immersive. This next mod is one that I get asked about in the comments of my videos all the time, so I thought I would include it in this video. It's Recolor Project Daedric Lord Armory by Cyan49, which improves the texture of Daedric armor, which I think greatly improves on the vanilla design, making that armor look so much nicer. The final mod you need to make your Skyrim look amazing on PS4 is Kill Moves No Blur by 13 Oranges. It does exactly what it says on the tin, it removes the blur effect from kill moves so you can see your character decapitating bandits much more clearly. And that's pretty much it, that's all the mods you need to make Skyrim look amazing on PS4. I think considering the restrictions on PS4 modding that stop us from being able to use external assets, modders have done an incredible job of improving Skyrim's graphics, lighting, environments and more with the tools that can already be found within Skyrim's game files. That will take us to the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a like, and if you want to see more of my videos I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook, just search Nayflar to find me, or use the links in the description if you want to follow me. Thank you to Fluky Robin for being the first channel member, thank you so much for your support, it really does mean a lot. If you want to support me and help me make more and better videos, please consider joining the guild and becoming a channel member. Just press the join button and I'll give you a shout out at the end of all my videos to thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next one, may Talos guide you.